Brave the Shave, the region's largest childhood cancer fundraiser, wrapped up its ninth year. Nearly 500 participants raised some green, and exciting changes helped provide more of a local impact to children in their fight against pediatric cancer. Brave the Shave Night at the Bismarck Bobcats hockey game kicked off this year's roster of events. Several Bobcats players and coaches grew their locks, not to win the best hockey hair trophy, but to shave their heads in support of kids with cancer. Before the game, they gathered at mid-ice for the head shaving, followed by a ceremonial puck drop by honoree child Caden Chrysler. The Bobcats also auctioned off special edition jerseys, raising more than $6,100. For the fifth year, Bismarck Mandan's finest, its firefighters and police officers, once again went head to head in a friendly rivalry to see who could raise the most money for Brave the Shave. The Guns and Hoses event was held at a new venue, The Pond, and still featured a family-friendly focus. More than $12,000 was raised. Sanford Health Brave Kids Bold Cures head shaving event featured nine people shaving their heads to raise more than $7,500. At Cooper Chevrolet, another strong supporter of Brave the Shave, more than 20 participants shaved their heads, including a team of three sixth grade friends who wanted to make a difference. In total, Cooper's event raised more than $24,000. And more than 65 Zumba dancers, all decked out in green, danced up a storm to raise money and awareness. Not only did they raise more than $1,500, but they also had a good time at the Get Your Green On Zumbathon. At Brave the Shave's biggest event, the flagship event at the Missouri Valley Family YMCA, 184 heads were shaved. The afternoon brought together family, friends, and coworkers working toward one goal, to fight childhood cancer. 26 local children were honored at this year's events, and guests in attendance included North Dakota Governor Jack Dalrymple, U.S. Senator Heidi Heitkamp, and Miss North Dakota Delaney Wiedrich. The Brave the Shave online and silent auctions raised more than $21,500. Basin Electric facilities also held their events. Employees at Deer Creek and community members in Brookings, South Dakota raised more than $9,000. And Basin Electric employees at Antelope Valley Station, Leland Old Station, and Dakota Gasification Company joined forces with the community to raise more than $25,000 through lunches, bake sales, and auctions. What started as a fundraiser solely for childhood cancer research has evolved into a fundraiser that will have a greater local impact. New this year for Brave the Shave, participants had the option to support local families battling cancer, give back to local healthcare facilities that help advance children's health, or help fund childhood cancer research at the international level. Participants could choose to support the following organizations. The Brave the Shave Family Fund, Bismarck Cancer Center Foundation, Sanford Health Pediatric Oncology, CHI, St. Alexius Health, NICU, or the St. Baldrick's Foundation. All told, 482 participants signed up to go bald, donate their hair, or volunteer at the various events this year. And more than $363,000 was raised as part of the campaign, bringing the event's total fundraising since 2008 to more than $2.2 million. But the greatest joy was to see a smile on the face of children fighting cancer. That smile, the result of people coming together to lift the children's spirits and celebrate their strength and bravery. These children are what Brave the Shave is all about. And while they fight, so too will the supporters of Brave the Shave.